my name is Aki Mohammed. I'm a lecturer here at the School of Electrical and Information Engineering at FITS. My research for the last 12 years has involved controlling the robotic prosthetic hand with neural signals from the body. And part of that was the development of a bionic hand that would be suitable for amputees, but at a cost that's not exorbitant. Commercial prosthetic hands are only available overseas. So an amputee in South Africa, they would need to import, which is something most amputees in South Africa can't afford. We're talking about something that's close to 20,000 rand as opposed to 500,000 rand. I discovered the application you know, of controlling a prosthetic hand with brain signals about 12 years ago. And I found it to be the most fascinating and possibly challenging research topic to actually get like, because essentially what we're trying to do is understand the brain. Using my skills, uh, engineering skills and um, artificial intelligence and applying that to the body was something that I was looking for. And when I found this application, it really stirred an interest. I like to use my hands, I like to work with my hands, so I think, okay, what would the life of an MPT be? So, you know, it's something that's very really personal to me, it's something that I'm very really passionate about. So we've focused on a few key hand movements, and we've also allowed the prosthetic hand to have an artificial sense of feeling, so that when the user touches something, they would be able to almost understand what the prosthetic hand is feeling. The way the hand works, the user will intend moving and will have some kind of electrical activity going on. And then the hand will sense this electrical activity, interpret it, understand it, and then use that to contract the hand. The sensors on the fingertips and on the palm would then initiate some kind of vibration, which the amputee would feel on the non-amputated arm. The user in time will learn to understand that these vibrations mean a sense of touch on the prosthetic hand. And in that way, the brain relearns how to use this prosthetic hand. We've got a three-year plan. We need to test it in a lot of amputees, get feedback from them, adjust the hand and make all the tweaks that we need to test it for strength and durability. We also need to get it certified so that we've got a solid product that works for the amputees that will benefit their lives. Uh, and we need to do this still at, at a low cost. My hope for the impact of the bionic prosthetic hand is that it would assist amputees, but I also hope that it would inspire other inventors and other engineers and other developers to build similar devices that are low cost and aimed at helping individuals and making their lives easier. And in so doing, we're building an industry of medical technology that is aimed at the average person.